Hey everybody, I am David, and today I'm going to be talking about Once Upon a Time Season 6. That's right, it airs on ABC, and uh, it just wrapped up its sixth season last night uh, with the finale. And uh, I'm going to put a little bit of my thoughts of the overall season. Uh, first off, uh, a little bit of background. I love Season 1 of Once Upon a Time. I think the first season was actually really well done and a really nice surprise uh, to a really well told story and after that season two came along and I was like okay that was that was an okay season season three came along same thing season four five and now six well six I'm gonna get to but as you can tell there's a pattern going on here after season one I never felt the show was really the same as good as it was back in season one. I really did think season one was a really well-crafted season. And uh, so going into this season, I was really excited right from the beginning. I know I did an episode review of the first episode of the season. Um, and I was super excited about it because I heard the characters from Aladdin were coming. So they got Aladdin and Jasmine and Jafar. Jafar, one of my all-time favorite Disney villains you know aladdin in general is my all-time favorite animated film one of my all-time animated films definitely in the top two with the lion king and uh so knowing that these characters were coming i was uh curious at how they were going to be handled and just like every other disney season i, I mean every other season of once upon a time i was gonna say disney season uh but yeah, every, uh, just like any other character that comes onto the show, they were given to us in bits and pieces. And to me, it was kind of disappointing and a waste, especially with the character of Jafar. I mean, if they didn't use Aladdin and Jasmine as much, I, I think I could have let that pass. But the fact that Jafar was in the season and they got a really good actor to play him, Oded Fur. If you guys don't know who he is, go check. You might remember him from the Mummy movies with Brendan Fraser, the first two, The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. And he was great in that movie. He's been in many other things as well. Um, so check him out on IMDb. Check out all the work he's done. Uh, and he's always great. And casting him as Jafar, I was like, yes, this is going to be amazing. And when I first saw the clip of him as Jafar, I was excited. And then Jafar only appears in like two episodes this season. And I'm like, man, what a waste of a great Disney villain. They could have done so much more. I thought he was going to be the main villain of the season. And they kind of made us think that way, too, that that might be where it's going but it didn't and I was uh, heavily disappointed with the use of those characters uh you know especially with the way they used uh other characters on the show like the Frozen characters back in season four I think it was or the Peter Pan characters uh Peter Pan himself was in the first half of season three the Wizard of Oz played a big part in uh also season three um and then we even got a, a group of villains, you know, uh, Cruella de Vil and Ursula and Maleficent uh, at the end of season four. And, you know, season five, we got a, a whole group of villains there, too. So I thought Jafar was going to be maybe the first half of of uh, season uh, six, but that didn't happen. And then I thought he was going to maybe in the second half, maybe they're setting him up in the first and then bring it. Nope, that didn't happen. So... Overall, we got an a another average season, and it's because, yeah, the villains were kind of lame in this one. We got the Black Fairy, who turned out to be uh, Rumpel's mom. I mean, that was a villain that was like, you know, we knew about Rumpel's mom a long time ago. She left him a long time ago to be with Hook and all that. And, uh, and then we got Rumpel and Belle's son, who was possessed. I don't know. It, it was... They weren't interesting villains to me, and it's kind of sad that, you know, all these Dis great Disney villains, and they don't even use them to their full potential and what they could have been, you know? And, um, I mean, they were fine. Actually, no, Rumpel's son was a terrible villain. I was not invested in that character at all. Rumpel's mom, okay, I can see that because that's a punch to the gut to Rumpel's still skin, especially the journey that he's been through since season one. 
So I can see, but even her, like, she was wasted after she was killed off at the very end. So she was just, like, killed like that. And it was like, was there even a point of having her as a villain? Um, and then the rest of the characters, I always hate it when they go back to flashbacks. And the flashbacks are, like, squeezed into these areas of the past where it's, like, kind of hard to believe. Like, all this stuff really happened during that amount of time i i don't know that's just me uh for what it's worth i mean we always get our our gems of an episode throughout you know but nowadays it's like when you look at the overall season i just feel a little bit disappointed uh, i will admit though i really did like the season finale um i thought there were a lot of really nice callbacks to season one and two uh, specifically season one, especially with Emma's mind erase and putting her back into that mindset of season one, because I thought that was some of the fun stuff about season one, about Henry trying to f convince uh, Emma of who she is and that these people are legit fairy tale characters. So I actually did think the finale was actually really nicely done. If this was the final episode of the series... I think I would have been okay with it. I was, okay, that was a nice way to end it. You know, it was a satisfying ending. Uh, but unfortunately, the show is going to continue, even though it's been reported that a lot of the cast is dropping out. And that's... Uh, I mean, I'm going to admit, it was a nice little setup there at the end with adult Henry. I hope you guys watched the finale already, because I'm going to spoil it a little bit. At the very end, you see adult Henry opening a door to a little girl who claims that she's Henry's daughter. So giving us Henry now in the Emma position. And I'll admit that was a little nice tease to what's to come. But unfortunately, I feel like I'm going to finally be dropping off at this point. Um, I wish the show success. I think it's going to do great still, hopefully. And, you know, I'm going to keep tabs on what people are saying about it because my plan is to still keep up with it uh, for season seven except i'll be keeping up with it when it hits blu-ray uh so that way i can buy it and just binge it all the way through instead of waiting week after week because that part to me is starting to not get worth it uh waiting week after week because they're not giving us something to invest in week after week i still enjoy the show I, I enjoy the mythology that it's built throughout the years i just feel they're not giving us a good story arc to want to make me come back week after week i rather wait until the season is done and then just, just binge watch it all the way through um that's just my feelings i know a lot of other people are probably different from me and they probably uh, still love season six just as much as season one for me the show just hasn't been the same since season one and i feel like maybe the actors actually know it and that's why they're some of them are dropping out i know some of them was the writers and the producers intentions that that's what i was reading from the producers that some of them were they were they had the intention of writing off and then others was their intention their own um decision on jumping off ship so you know like i said i'm i'm gonna keep tabs on the show i'm gonna watch it when it comes out on blu-ray season seven but as a week-to-week -week basis keeping up with it i think i'm gonna jump off ship here i think this is a nice little ending so that if season seven <laughs> isn't as good as they're hoping it will be well at least i have a nice little conclusion here for the first six seasons and I'll, I'm satisfied if that is the case. Uh, but like I said, I, I don't wish the show to fail. I'm always wishing for any show, even shows that I'm not watching, to succeed. If they have their audience, then that's awesome. Um, there's just way too much television for me to keep up with right now. So uh, with that being said, guys, leave or and girls, uh, leave your thoughts in the description box below, I mean, in the comment section. Uh, tell me, do you agree with me? Or are you going to keep watching past season six? I like to know. Sorry, guys, my throat. And uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And uh, 
Until next time, take care.